guys so it's been a while since i made a video i was sticking to shorts but i thought maybe you know we can talk again on the camera get comfortable with it little by little and uh since fall is almost here i want to start doing some fall makeup i'm done with summer i really don't do my makeup in summer because i get all sweaty and it's all like shiny and it's just uncomfortable so <laughs> But anyway, so let's go ahead and get started with this fall makeup and I hope you guys enjoy it. Okay guys, so I just gave my face a quick wipe. Just make sure there's no dirt or nothing on it. And I'm going to get started with the Juvia Place Concealer and this is in the number 13. I'm just going to apply a little bit on my eye. And just a little quick chit chat. Um while i wasn't even youtube because i haven't done a video in a while uh i've been learning how to make candles because i don't know i want something to work <laughs> i tell myself well i'm still getting used to the whole talking here and i keep telling myself just be yourself you know just it's okay just be yourself don't be awkward and i don't know this is this is hard for me but i get inspired every time i see jeffree star and i see all those makeup artists on tiktok i'm like i want to be like that and here i am making a youtube video but then i remember how awkward i am because i'm not used to this and i'm like uh let me find something else so that's when i found the candle making so i started off by making wax melts and I actually did pretty good. My wax melts smell really strong. Of course, at first they didn't or something would happen. And I succeeded at the wax melts. I keep getting compliments that they do smell strong. So I was like, okay, let's go ahead and make some candles. But there's like a whole science behind the candles. Like it's not just about literally just melting the wax, putting the scent, the wick, a container, and you're done, you have a candle. There's like so much more to making candles. But even then I got it like on the second try. So I'm proud of myself. But again, I'm like, okay, well, I still like makeup. I still want to do this. I got inspired again. So I'm like, I was even thinking of deleting this YouTube vid, um, profile and making one for candles. So <sighs> I just got to... It's like I want to do so many things at the same time, but I just got to focus on one. <laughs> and I actually have some candles. Uh, where are they? Oh, they're right there. I don't know if you can see them right here. They're actually drying. I just made some right now. And while those dry, I'm like, well, I can do my makeup, do a video. I'm like trying to multitask and it's like doing a lot and nothing at the same time. But anyways, so I've already applied my concealer and I love it. It's just like a perfect, perfect match. I still struggle with my foundations, with my, um, how do you call it? The contour. So this, I'm obsessed with it. I'm so happy just because it matches really nice. But anyways, I'm going to get started and I am going in with Blood Sugar, this beautiful palette by Jeffree Star. And I'm going to be digging into fresh meat which is a burgundy a deep burgundy and i'm already making a mess but we're gonna go ahead and apply that on the outer corner so i'm just gonna grab a fluffy brush like this one make sure yours is clean and we're gonna go into that color just gonna tap a little bit because it does grab a lot and i'm gonna start like i said on the outer corner I'm just gonna wipe some off, any excess that might be on the brush. And with a clean brush, we'll just kind of blend it. And there it is. Don't worry about it being perfect in the beginning. It's kind of like when you write an essay, this is your first draft. We're gonna get there. 
we're gonna clean it up it's gonna look nice ready guys now we're gonna need an orange to apply that on top of the burgundy and i'm gonna be using this palette beyond the sky by cara beauty i believe and um we're gonna be using this orange like dark orange with the same brush i'm gonna tap off the excess and i'm gonna apply this on top of the burgundy uh it's not working maybe we need it a little bit lighter so i'm gonna go ahead and try the other lighter orange And this one we're gonna bring it all the like all across the crease I don't know I'm not too happy with it let me go ahead and find another orange I like how this orange turned out so we're gonna try another Cara Beauty palette uh, this is called you had me at aloha aloha and these are the beautiful colors we have three options of orange right here so i'm just gonna give this one a just a quick clean i'm gonna wipe off all that burgundy and orange and i will be going in laguna which is this orange right here and hopefully this one works better tapping off and then we're gonna apply this right here and this looks better <laughs> why am i just making it a mess and when i do my videos honestly i just kind of go with it i don't really have anything in mind sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't uh so this might work or it might not <laughs> so i'm just gonna Trust the process. But here it is. I'm just trying to like blend them together. Like I said, don't worry about it being perfect because we're just gonna clean it up and make it not perfect, but just, yeah. <laughs> just don't worry about it being perfect. So I'm gonna do the same with the other eye. Okay, that looks nice. That looks better. I'm just going to clean this up again. This is like my favorite tool. And I can just use one brush sometimes. Just one brush for a makeup look. I don't have to worry about a lot of brushes. Uh, so I'm going to go back into that burgundy because it did fade a little when I was trying to add that orange. So I'm just going back into this Jeffree Star palette. And I'm just going into the burgundy, just gonna top, tap it. This one wasn't too bad, but okay. Now, let me find my other palette. So honestly, this is one of my favorite palettes and this is the Orgy palette by Jeffree Star. And I'm gonna be using this color right here, which is like a skin tone kind of, and we're gonna apply this on the lid. And I'm not gonna give my brush another clean or another wipe. I'm actually gonna use a different brush. And for this, I'm gonna be using this eyeshadow brush. It's um, a flat one. And I'm going in with this color and mix it a little bit with the brighter one on top. Tap it off and just apply this on the lid. This is not looking fall. It's kind of looking like summer-ish. But it's okay. Just trust the process. <laughs> and I am also going to apply this on under the brow. I'm going to be grabbing another fluffy brush. I'm going to be grabbing the same color. And then just do this under my brow. I'm 
I'm gonna go back into this palette and I'm gonna grab a darker shade to add that into the outer corner. Come back into the same brush and we'll be using this dark one. It's called Coma. And we're just gonna darken the colors because I feel like it looks a little summerish and we're trying to do fall. So we're just gonna apply this in the inner corner and the outer corner, not the inner corner, the outer corner. So I am looking at this color palette on Pinterest and I have something in mind. I just don't know if it's gonna work, but let's see, let's see if it does. So I'm gonna go back into this palette, the You Got Me at Aloha by Cara Beauty. It's beautiful. And I'm gonna be using this color right here, which is like a bluish greenish kind of color. Um, I was gonna leave this area white, but I changed my mind. So we're gonna go ahead and go into this color. See, I, don't, I grabbed the wrong color. I'm gonna go into this color and I'm gonna apply it on the lid and hope it looks really nice with the burgundy. Hopefully, I didn't mess it up. <laughs> it looks a little light, so we're just gonna darken it a bit. So I guess, yes, we're just gonna use this color right here. And I'm gonna start at the end and bring it in so it kind of creates like a, like an ombre effect, kind of. Just keep in mind, all this makes sense in my head. <laughs> so I don't know if it makes sense. And I actually say it. Okay, so just try to blend those together. It's actually like a nice little effect. Is it looking fall-ish? Hey, I'll continue to trust my process. So of course, we're gonna do the same to the other eye. So now I'm thinking of bringing in that purple more in, just a little bit more. I'm just gonna clean it up and we're going back into that orange. And it actually doesn't look bad. Like it's not a bad color scheme, but I don't know if it's fall vibes. Is this giving anybody fall vibes? Should I still trust the process? <laughs> so I'm going in with my eyeliner now. I love this eyeliner, by the way, the NYX Epic Ink Liner, but I was desperate. I went to Marshall's and I grabbed this waterproof eyeliner. I don't like it. I'm gonna definitely go back to Target to get the next one. This is not black enough. It's And it's like kind of dry. I don't I don't like it. This one definitely glides so much smoothly and it's like a black black. And this brand is more like dry. It's just dry and it's like matte. I don't, I'm not a big fan of it. Definitely getting me another NYX eyeliner and it lasted me forever. But moving on to the makeup, I'm gonna be doing my brows. I'm no expert, but we gotta fix those. So I'm gonna be using the Jeffree Star palette 
and I'm gonna be going in this one of these two <laughs> so I'm just gonna brush these little babies up I'm gonna grab some of that brown I'm gonna start at the bottom Whoa, that is dark. I added a little too much, but it's okay. Nobody panic. Whoa, I'm showing you how pigmented this these Jeffree Star um, eyeshadows are. So for the other one, we're not gonna grab as much. We're just gonna grab a little bit. I'm gonna start at the bottom, like in the middle and create my line. I'm kind of faded. And like I said earlier, I'm not a professional, so this is definitely not a brow tutorial. Okay, so we said my fixed it. Let's ignore it. Now, I'm just going to continue, and I'm going to go ahead. I was going to start with my concealer, but no. We're going to start off. I was going to start with my concealer, but we're going to start off with the primer. I am using the Hydro Milk Primer. We're just going to add this all over the face to hydrate it and prime it. Honestly, I don't know if they do work or not. Because like I said, for summer, I would do my makeup and I would add a face primer. And I even purchased the Urban Decay Oil Control. And I still got oily. I'm like, does it, does it work? <laughs> that kind of made me like, you know, a little skeptical about the primers. But yet, I am here adding it. And now I am going to start off with my concealer. And again, this is the Juvia's Place. And I'm going to add, well, I don't want to add too much. So I'm just going to add some right here and here. Same with the other side. On here. Little heart. Can't even make a heart. And then in the nose, here, and my mustache. So we're going to grab our handy dandy sponge. This is by Morphe. R.I.P. Morphe. And then we're just going to blend. Oh, and my candles are dry. The good thing about making the candles is that my house does smell good. And um, I even got like really serious with the whole candle thing because I made labels for it. I invested in containers. For now, I'm selling it to like the family members. I am thinking of opening the Etsy shop sometime. <laughs> and I'll show you guys my little containers right now, my little candles. So you, you guys can judge it and see if I have what it takes to be, if I have what it takes to take Bath and Body out of the business, out of business. I'll display. No, nobody's going to do that. Add some powder to this. And this is by Makeup Revolution, the Deep Banana. And we're going to press it onto our face. Now I'm going in with my foundation and I'm going to be using this L'Oreal True Match. So now I'm going to go back into this palette and I'm just going to grab an angled brush and then pick a brown that I think fits my skin. 
or matches my skin. I'm just gonna start up here. You guys know something, and this is weird to say, but I am not used to blush. I will use it on my videos, but I feel like it looks strange on me. But uh, this is one of my favorite blush palettes. And probably because since I'm not, since I feel weird with blush, I don't really experiment too much with other ones. But I feel like, I don't know. Like, it doesn't suit me. I don't know if it's the color I'm using. I try watching videos where they, you know, they let you know how to apply it. What colors to use according to your skin tone. I'm really not used to blush. <laughs> I feel like super red, like I'm blushing. And I think that is the point of it. I just don't like it. I did apply more on this side than this one. So to kind of balance it out, I will go back into this banana one with a brush and just kind of fade it out. Try to make this blended. And set my face at the same time. Alrighty guys, moving on to lashes. Found this cute eyelash. Um, hair and look at it it's so cute it's fluffy the box is beautiful i just thought they were cute so we're gonna go ahead and apply these beautiful lashes and while the lash glue dries let me show you my candles really quick so here is the finished product of my candles see i even got the name down i got the sticker i got a little quote on them egyptian cotton have you guys had this scent i am obsessed with this scent See, it's still drying, or I did something there, but it burns beautiful and it smells strong. I even have a little warning label. See, dedication. I'm just impatient, and if I see something doesn't work, I'm like, let me move on to something else. And that's not the point of it. Like, it's about dedicating, and even though too many people don't watch my YouTube video right now, I just have to stick to it, you know, get comfortable, which I feel really comfortable right now. And eventually it might happen, you know, like who doesn't dream of getting sponsored and getting makeup and reviewing makeup? At least I do right now. Maybe tomorrow I'm gonna be a chef. I don't know. So I'm pretty sure this thing is dry. The lash always makes a beautiful difference in the makeup. So for the bottom of the eyes, I think I'm going to be doing this uh, burgundy that we first used from the Blood Sugar Palette. And Fresh Mint. Grabbed a little brush and I'm just going to apply it only like halfway so I'm going in with a darker purple I'm just bringing it to where my lash ends what is that I'm just connecting it I am proud because like I said, I haven't done my makeup in a while, so I was like, I'm a little rusty. Is this gonna come out good? Is it gonna be a fail? I'm like, well, if it is, I'm not gonna post it, period. I mean, no big deal, right? <laughs> but it seems like it is working out, so we're definitely posting this. Now for the outer corner. I keep confusing those. I say for the inner corner, Okay, for the inner corner, um, we're going to do like a greenish. So, cleaning this brush up and going into the Cara Beauty Beyond the Sky palette. I'm going to be grabbing the Shimmer Green. 
and applying it in the inner corner. the beginning it was a very questionable makeup but look it looks beautiful i'm happy with it i'm gonna be doing my lips really quick my hair and i will be back with the results okay guys so this is the final look these are the results on the makeup and i'm really really happy for me to not have done my makeup in a while i'm actually happy and proud for my lips i lined them up with this wet and wild and this is in gone burgundy I just lined them and then I use this Ioni burgundy color um, and it goes matte so it's like really pretty maybe we can go darker with the lips but that is optional but um, if you made it this far if you watch me this far thank you I really really appreciate you and I hope I can see you on my next video